Last Thursday, a teenager in Kansas City was shot after mistakenly showing up at the wrong home. Now an 84 year old, the homeowner in this case is charged in the shooting as the teenager recovers from his injuries. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest on those details, plus new information on a similar incident in upstate New York. As 16 year old Ralph Yarrow recovers from two gunshot wounds, his family speaking out. Ralph is just taking it day by day. He is healing. He is trying to make sense of something that seems to be really senseless right now. Authorities have now charged 84 year old Andrew Lester with felony assault for allegedly shooting Yarl when Yarl mistakenly showed up at his Kansas City home Thursday just before 10 p.m. Lester now back in custody. Yarl's family shocked Lester isn't facing more serious charges. He chose to I fired two shots into this human being. That's something that most people would assume might cause their death, and it seems like attempted murder. Yarl's family says they sent him to pick up his younger siblings at 115th Terrace, but he accidentally went to Lester's home on 115th Street. According to the arrest warrant, after Yarl rang the doorbell, Lester shot him in the head through the glass door and then again in the arm. Authorities say there's no indication the two ever exchanged words. As the prosecutor of Clay County, I can tell you there was a racial component to the case. The high school junior ran for help, but his family says he was turned away by neighbors. He was taken to the hospital and is now receiving care at home. In a separate incident in Washington County, New York, north of Albany, 20 year old Kaylin Gillis was killed when authorities say she also mistakenly showed up at the wrong home while driving with friends in a rural area. This is a, a very sad case of some young adults that were looking for a friend's house and ended up at this man's house. 65 year old Kevin Monahan charged with second degree murder. The sheriff says Gillis was beloved in her community and that her life was taken far too soon. Her friend saying she will be deeply missed. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.